Oh my God, you're so gorgeous. Yo. Yo. What up, players? What up, players? Glad you're hot. So, the man, the hubby, is calming down right now. I think I, I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, he says he almost had a heart attack. I'm done. I'm way stressed out. All right, no, baby. I know. <coughs> what up, Jay Swayze? How you doing? Hi, Jay Swayze. So, the if you saw this this lovely man right here, Revelation News is live stream. Yeah. If you were watching that, you would know at the last part of it. And I told Jason not to, but he didn't listen to me, and then he had to learn the consequences, because I'm always right. Yeah. Because he doesn't listen. <laughs> I'll learn someday. G-Man came into his room. And started talking about how we owe him money right after Jason just got off and said he gave him or we gave him $1,600 within one month span hence providing for his every fucking need He was saying that he's going to provide the receipts. And if he provides the receipts, we're going to have to tell the judge that we were lying. Even though we never got any receipts, we never got an invoice, we never had a contract or anything. And, 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 and may I add, in order to have a contract, a contract done on your house... You know, a contractor come into your house. Aren't you as aren't you the homeowner supposed to be like signing some kind of contract yes. before anything is done to the house? Correct. That never happened. The motherfucker on his last stream said he got receipts. I'm telling you, that motherfucker has absolutely no receipts. No receipts. G-Man has absolutely no receipts. And he's lying to y'all. Because I haven't seen a damn thing. And for months now, I've been asking for fucking receipts. And I've got nothing. I got nothing. So, I know he's lying. I know the only reason why he wanted to go on Rev's channel, my husband's channel, was because he needed to go and put doubt in people's minds by saying he does have receipts, even though he has no receipts. So, I would like to encourage my husband to tell people if he gets any receipts and show people said receipts. If you receive anything. Yeah, I will. Because I think we all would like to see the receipts. Wouldn't you guys like to see the receipts? I know I'd like to see the receipts. But I don't think we'll ever see receipts because they don't exist. How peculiar it and is that receipts don't exist. When asked for months to see things, <clears throat> and it's never shown, because nothing was done. Everything was stolen. He was bought and paid. Everything he asked for, I gave him. Like a perfect, obedient wife. Yeah. Yeah.
did everything correctly. I did my best. You did everything correct. I did my best. If I'm a bad guy over this scenario, then I'm a bad guy over this scenario. But you know what? I I can say, out of full respect, that at least I gave as much as I could to the man. Yes, you did. And he's given me absolutely nothing but pain, God, yeah. agony, and severe mental distress. So thank you. I'm glad. I, I I'm glad you enjoyed all that free money. Um. I'm sure it makes you feel really good deep down inside yourself that you treat people who given you probably more than anyone else ever has. You yes. treat them with such utter disrespect and disregard. <laughs> and you insult them. <clears throat> and you insult them. Anybody that gives that guy money is crazy. Yeah. Where's your charity? G man, what do you give to people? You don't give anything to anyone. I, I there now I have at least six testimonies from people who have given you money and you've treated them like total fucking garbage right afterwards. Who else? Who else? Yeah. Um Hannah? Really? She gave him money? Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, MP. Yeah, Nate. Uh, Nate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Big C. Big C gave him money. Okay. Um, gosh. Can't think of the others right now. But there's us, too. He's gotten a lot of money from YouTube. He's gotten a lot of money from YouTube, and he's used a lot of people for their money. He doesn't give a shit about us, and he'll never give back to the community. What we have given him, he will never, ever, 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 ever give back to the community. Yeah. I remember I took charity for a computer once, a $200 computer. From Hillary Pugh and David. That's Th nice. That thank you for that, by the way. That's awesome. But as soon as I got in any amount of wealth, I started giving back to the community. Because I think that's the right thing to do. Yes. Is you give back to the community after you take from it and go through a hard time. You give back to what you've taken. I, I think I've done it quite a bit to help people out. Yeah. And even when I wasn't with him, I was still giving back to the community. You gave Try the homeless people all the time. Yeah, I know. I'm try I tried to give to as many people as I possibly could. And it's very hard for one person to give to everyone. Yes, it is. It's very hard, but I did it. I don't regret it. And... You know, everything I gave goes to Jesus anyway. That's right. So. That's correct. Yeah. Your tithing is done in the sight of Jesus. Exactly. Not men. But that person in there she called Shani and Jason got syphilis from Brucey, named Brucey, called me a thief, and I that was it. I couldn't do it. No, if anything, Jason is not a thief. You can call him a lot of things, but a thief he is not. Mm -hmm. I'm a drunk. Sometimes I can just lose my mind, but I am not a thief. I give. I don't take. That's right. Fucking pricks. Jeez. Exactly. No because, see, here's the thing. G-Man spun this tale. Yeah. That because he can't admit to being Ron, he spun this tale that we used him to fix the house up. That's not true. In order for him to live there, he had to fix the house up. But anyway, 
Hannah MP Weiser, who is dumb enough to keep giving him money? Even Drag gave him money at one point. Dragna gave G Man money. And you see how G Man treats Dragna? I mean, why are we giving this man money when he, he, he just does not respect those who give to him? And I'm not, I'm not saying you buy respect, but, you know, it, it's just simple human courtesy. Simple human, like, just, like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, listen, someone gives you something. Aren't you grateful or, uh, about it? Aren't you like, thank you, I owe you. Don't you feel like when someone gives to you something, you feel like you owe them back? Like, you have to give them back? I mean, most people, I would think, I would assume, would feel like, oh, yeah, you gave to me? Well, I owe you. I'm going to I'm gonna help you out next time. You, you know, you give, you take, that sort of thing. Do people do this anymore? Or is this taken away from human existence, this line of thinking that I, I think... <laughs> like... Anyone who's ever given me anything, I'm internally in grateful for. I am. But to totally, like, disregard someone because they caught you lying and cut you off because of your lying, and then you you just continue on for months, this, this I gotta go and remind everyone every moment what Shani did to me. Shani took the house away because I didn't get, I, I bought blog TV instead of doing the responsible adult thing and paying for my phone. That's right. Shannon's the devil for taking the house away for, for, you know, her giving me money to pay for my cell phone, but I wanted to go and get my blog talk TV. So I devised a plan to lie to Shani about, about a cell phone that didn't need to be paid right then and there, and I'm just going to put it at the blog talk TV. Ah, uh, <laughs> Gavin, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I scared the shit out of Gavin. I'm, Gavin, I'm sorry. Yeah, come here. Oh, and then there was the time he lied about being fired, asked for cash, then claimed no one gave him any when one person who did sent me the bank statement, which I posted for her because she was so upset by his lying. Yeah. Why do you There's another person there that got completely disregarded Ooh. over what she gave to someone. Who? Sabella's talking about a woman who emailed Sabella a receipt because G-Man said no one sent him any money. Yeah. But this Christian woman sent him money. Oh my God. And he lied and said no one sent him money this? to get more money. Do you need any more proof, guys? Who are you going to believe? A guy that takes money out over the internet and lies about it or us who's done nothing but give people money? We have never received a penny from anybody. Well, I have. That's fine. In my past, no. when I was dirt fucking poor, and thank you for that. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. you can. But I've also given back to the community, too. Yeah. You can receive as much money as you want even now, if you wanted to. You could start a Patreon and start getting monthly payments. What I'm saying is this family has never come on this internet and begged for money. And we've never received a penny from anybody. There was some asshole in my stream yard saying that I, I took money from G-Man. I don't, I never received a penny from G-Man. Nope. Not a fucking red cent. And I wouldn't expect to. He doesn't have money to give. He spends it all on stupid shit. He spends it all. The G-Man doesn't use your money for charity. He doesn't use it to give to the poor. He doesn't give it to give to other people. He uses your money 
for his own selfish gratification. Yeah, and to... How is that a good thing? And to improve his YouTube experience. To improve his catalog of G-Man-ness. Like, how many laptops does this man need? <laughs> how I many cell phones does this man need? <laughs> Now, let me ask you something. Does he have these laptops and cell phones over honest needs, or is it show, nefarious? Show, show the people my setup there. There's my setup, folks. That is a, the one on the right, your right, is a Dell laptop, PC, Windows, and the one to the left is a MacBook Pro, and then my mic is there. That's a pretty sweet setup, man. I'm happy with it. It's very. What does that have to do with the topic? Nothing. I just wanted to show you. You're so ADD. I know I am. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, to be fair, I have more than one phone now and more than one laptop, but half of it is for school, the other half for... Well, yeah, I, I have two laptops. I have a Mac and I have a um, HP. HP. You know? But this man has like eight, nine, ten laptops all stacked up, not being used. That is so weird. Why does one man need that many laptops? Where does he get them? And where is he getting them? Because the man is always asking for money. Does he make that much money that he could buy a laptop like every week? Yeah. And why are Christians constantly donating this guy laptops when oh, clearly God. he has computers? I think he asked people to send him, like, broken laptops and stuff, and then he gets it fixed by somebody, I think. Maybe. That's the case. Oh, that was sweet, Sabella. What? And I'm just... Uh... Coffee stain tape, stain teeth. I didn't have to give this man a fucking dime. No. That's the thing. I didn't have to give this man a dime. I didn't have to offer him anything or give him anything. No. And he's acting like I owe him this. I owe him this lifestyle where he could just do nothing at all. And everyone gives to him. <coughs> like, even when he was at our house, you saw how much money he got from us in one month. $1,600 in one month. No, that was over the course of... November and December. In one month. Yeah, I think in September, too. Okay, once in September, whatever. But over $1,000 in one month. No, Didn't have to pay rent or anything. And yeah. he was still begging people for money on somebody the internet. In the, somebody in the chat room said $1,600 is what some people make in an entire month. I know. I used to, I used to make only $1,200 a month. Yeah. Here you go. From me making $1,200 a month to giving someone... That within a month? Yeah. Praise Jesus. Yeah, I know. Praise Jesus for it. But he has to make he has to make this all fucking what's the word? What? I don't feel good about giving him that money now. I don't feel good about giving him the money at all either. In fact, I think I want my money back. You want your money back. I'm starting to feel that way. Yeah. Oh, I got the receipts, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't for work authorized by the owner of the house, you stupid fucking idiot. That isn't how contracts. Has anybody heard the word contract? 
I know, right? Those contractors must have thought, must have thought he was the shadiest motherfucker they ever lived. Oh my god. Not your magical Negro show. <laughs> okay. That is funny. I can't believe he came in, started shit knowing he was lying. Are you really shocked about that? He always does this. He's like... Out. He's a piece of work. I have diarrhea. You have diarrhea. I'm so stressed. You're so stressed out. You have diarrhea, baby. I have diarrhea. Yeah. Baby. People calling me a thief. Sabella, he isn't a princess. He's a man. He's a prince. Don't you know that, Sabella? You're hurting his feelings. <laughs> How dare you take away his gender like that and turn him into a girl? Oh my God. Don't you know girls are icky? <laughs> oh my God. That's My God, damn! This guy is just beyond. Like he hates women. He hates women so much. He hates women. I think he is. I honestly think the black Hebrew Israelites got it right. G man is a faggot. G man likes sucking cock because he obviously oh. does not like sucking titties. Or pussy or anything like that. I, I'm sorry, man. He has no fucking game with women at all. What's the at all. Unless you like to be abused. I mean, unless you're that woman who really likes to be abused, go for G-Man. You want to feel like a piece of shit? Go for G-Man. Yeah. Well, they would know he was petting their tummies against their will. Like, what grown man pets another dude's tummy like that? Not a straight one. Well, damn! What was G-Man expecting? Them being like Buddha or something and giving them, like, good luck or something? Hey, let me rub your tummy, man. Oh, I'm going to rub your tummy. Wow. What a they had to call the cops. The black Hebrew Israelites had to call the cops on G-Man oh for rubbing God. their tummies. Are you serious? Like, could you imagine that? It's usually the BHIs get that get the cops called on them. Because they get too loud. I don't know, honey. Would you consider that sexual assault? What? A dude coming up and started rubbing on your tummy like that. That's messed up. That's very strange. Yeah. I, uh, I wouldn't want that. That's messed up. Like, who fucking does that shit? G-Man. I guess so. That's why he got kicked out of the group for sexually harassing the BHIs. Oh. What? What? That's some major T, as they would say. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Mm, 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 mm. I I thought he got kicked out because he would never study the topic, and then he would go to a debate and he'd get his ass handed to, to him. He was making Christians look really bad. So oh. she'll squad go back and watch drag scene with G Con. Oh man, dude! Gene Con is the shit. He's very cool. Dude! Can we just all, like, come together and just cancel G Man? Can we just, like, hashtag cancel G Man? Yeah. How long are 
are we going to let this man abuse us? How long are we going to let this man take advantage of us? How long are we going to let him just abuse one female after another female? How long are we going to let him abuse the transsexuals in the LGBT? How long are we going to have him attack anyone that doesn't fit what he thinks... He doesn't even fit in his own box. No. He can't even fit in his own little Christian box that he invented in his own fucking mind. Mm -hmm. But he expects everyone to fit in this box that no one can fit in. And then, and then he has the nerves to go and tell the black Hebrew Israelites they don't have to follow the law while expecting others to follow his law, what he wants you to be like. Yeah. Motherfucker, let me just tell you one thing. I am under grace. I'm not under law. That's right. Especially not your man-made, disgusting, hateful, controlling law. Yeah, G-Man has his own Christianity. I've come to that conclusion. He has his own version of what of what it means to live like a Christian. Yes. I believe that he preaches the gospel. He says Jesus Christ will save you all day. But the way he lives does not line up with the scripture. Give me your precepts. G-Man, where is your precepts? I want to see the evidence that you're a Christian at this point. To be honest with you, with the way that you've acted in the community, the way how you abused us and you've used us, you have abused and used every single one of us in this community. Yeah. Every single one of us in this uh, community, you have either used or abused. And I am tired of it. And I just got a private message on Facebook from Veckel. I'm going to leave it at that. Holy shit. Oh. You're in trouble. You're in trouble. You have a lot to answer for. If you lose Veckel, you're done. Ken Jones is already, I said, he's hiding underneath a table. Yeah, what happened to Ken Jones? Is Scott blocked? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I don't know, maybe. I didn't block him. Uh, uh, let me go look. Shannon's going to check. Huh? I'm done with this. Just letting you know I'm blocked on her channel. Scott says he's blocked. I'm looking. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I think everyone at this point is done with him, though. Yeah. I think everyone. If you done. are blocked, Scott, she's about to unblock you. I'm trying to, anyway. Community. <coughs> like cake in no problem. Like cake in a crisis. Good God! Look at all the people I have fucking blocked. Holy shit! This might take a while. Positively godless. Oh God! It's not organized. Mr. Pluto, scientist Sam, Shanny the lying whore. Wow. Bear Jew, you know who that is. I don't see him. No. He's not. Yeah, there, there it is. Positively oh, godly. All right, click out. Okay, and save. Okay, Scott. You're not blocked anymore. You're free. Sam has a lot of socks. 
god. You know, here's the thing. I don't know why Thick Shades hates me so much. I don't either. I never gotten it. I don't get it either. They just want me to be perfect, and I don't think they have learned quite yet. Hey, bitches. <laughs> That's how he ended. Hey, bitches. What's up? Hey, work. Hey, how cold is Minnesota getting right now? Wow. <laughs> it's going to be snowing soon in Minnesota. Oh. You're going to be freezing your asshole off. Your nose boogers are going to solidify to, you know your nose and you're gonna have booger icicles sorry yeah. couldn't help it yeah go say hi to Chris Ugh. 82 today and we are moving to Florida so ha ah, good good for you moving to Florida fuck Minnesota Tiets. anyway Tiets. he's going to Florida yeah fuck no fuck that Scott come to fucking Colorado <laughs> Why not Florida? Colorado is the shit. Florida is the shit, too. Okay, well, that's fair enough. But... Like we the... love it there. I don't blame you. What part? We're bleeding out. Oh, okay. Wow. But what was I talking about? I know it was something about G-Man, but... Yeah, G-Man's a fucking retard. I thought, well, that, that, that. I thought that was the theme of the hangout. Good point. And he's got no receipts. Am I right about that? Well, how long have we been asking for these receipts? I asked for them once. And he never got them. No, I never got anything. And then I... I then... He said in a hangout, I don't care about the money anymore. I don't want the money. I don't care about it. And that was it. I didn't ask for any receipts after that because he just said that he didn't care about the money. But now he's asking about the money again. Yeah. Because he probably got a bunch of money from you Christians out there, you gullible Christians, and he spent it all. That's why he was gone for a whole month. And, uh... You know, if G-Man was being real with everybody, he'd be going, You know what I'm saying, nigga? I gotta go get a job, motherfucker. You know, he th he would be talking like that. But he still is putting on this fake deal. Yeah, I mean, how long is he gonna drag this, uh, shit in, in Rev made me lose the house? It's been nine months. You telling me in nine months he couldn't get a job? Nine or months? Come on, dude. In this economy, when every when job unemployment is the lowest you know it's the ever been. You know the convenient we always used to go to to get the beers? Mm -hmm. They were looking for new people every month there. Yes. Because it's a college town and people leave and they're in need of employees. They were always like, why don't you come and work here, dude? You're here all the time. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to work if I don't have to because my tax person tells me not to work because if I did, I'd be making too much money and it would put me in a higher tax bracket and I'd be fucked with taxes. That's why I don't work, folks. I have job skills. I can operate a cash register. I can add two and two. I have job skills. My tax situation is such that I can't work because it would put me in a higher tax bracket and I'd be paying huge taxes. Okay? My mother was in the same position and people were always jealous of her too. It's jealousy. And I just married into it. That's cool. You know, yeah. as 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 Missy Elliott, as Miss, Missy Elliott says it, ain't no shame, ladies, do your thing. Just make sure you're the head of the game. Yeah. That's correct. You married me. 
And I just so happened to get blessed by the Lord because my mother was an obedient believer in Jesus Christ. And my money is protected by the Lord because I give back. I actually give money to people or try my best to. I haven't recently because we are, there's a lot of bills and I have two sons now. So they come first. Shannon and the boys come first. And it's very expensive having a family. It just is. And I don't think many people would not understand that. I think many people understand that you'd put your family first before other people that you don't yeah, know. I had a very, And you've never met in your entire life. I had a very good friend, and I won't mention his name. I can't help him either now. Because... I have a family. I have a wife and two children and a 10-year-old and 12-year-old. That's expensive. Do you want me to take it yeah. for a while? Okay. Of course you put your family first. Yeah. Thank you, Crimson Angel. Hi, Faith. Yeah, sorry that ended like that, Faith, but I just couldn't take it anymore. There were people calling me a thief. Yeah, he wouldn't know shit about that. Because if he did have a family, he dropped them. Or they dropped him. I don't work either because I can't, but that's nobody's business. Yeah. Yeah, Frank, I, I wouldn't expect you to tell me that about yourself. No problem, guys. Keep trying. We are faith. And tell why I don't work. You registered. You don't work because you don't have to. If you, she wants to work. But then again, my body. Yeah, your body is racked, and I believe that's part of the reason why the Lord put me in your life so that you could have a break. Yeah. And I'm. I love that. That's my wife. I love her. He's just lazy and wants to sponge. That's what Sabella said. I could agree with that. The way he acts now, if he thinks he's getting a dime off of me now, he's wrong. No contracts were signed. He was not authorized to do any work on that house well, at all. He acts like this community. He acts entitled that this community owes him something. He acts like we... You want it back? He acts like we have to pay for his living. <laughs> yeah. Just because he's a Christian, we have to pay for his living. This fucking song. Because we, because see, we have to take care of him. Because we, because see, if we don't take care of him, that means we don't love him. That's how I feel right now. The title of this APC song, "Disillusion." <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Completely disillusioned. Oh no! Victor Newman has passed away on the end of the restless. Victor Newman. He's fucking old of soap opera star, dude. Water man in. I love you. Did you know when King told him about home some homeless shelters and churches nearby, he could stay if he didn't find a place within the 30 days? Yeah. He told King it was beneath him to be at a shelter. Well, Mr. Beneath You, I've been at a homeless shelter. I lived at a homeless shelter. Wow. And guess what? I got out of my predicament within a month. What a disgusting human being. And here's the thing. Here's the funny thing. This is, this is how selfish of a person I was. I remember talking to him on, on the phone when I was in the homeless shelter. He asked... Can I give you some money and help your family out? Yeah. What did I tell you? No. I said no. You didn't want it. The only time that I gave and you... And I was at a homeless shelter, and I said no to money. The only time I gave you money was when you called me up about the, the, the electricity went out because it was so hot, and you didn't have money to cover it, and I, I yeah. took care of that for you. I know. That's it. Yeah, that was at the end of our marriage. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. Chris got pissed at that. Chris got so pissed he off. He did not that. like that. 
No, he didn't like to ask for anything. And I respect that. I respect that too, but he's an he was an honorable man at that time, I guess. I don't know. No, he, he wasn't. He might have been cheating too. I don't know. I don't know. He was very distant during that time, so I think he may have been cheating during that time. Probably. If he was distant, he probably was cheating. Yeah. But whatever. What a dick. That I, one time one time yeah. you were in legitimate need. And you were there. Praise Jesus, I was there to yeah. fulfill that. Yeah. I know. You were there. You helped out. I wanted to. Because I loved you. I loved you and the boys. But to be so fucking snobby to say that a homeless shelter is beneath you. Oh, I hope the Lord God shows you what that truly is like to live in a homeless shelter. Maybe maybe you can see how beneath those people are. Hey, hey, asshole. Do you realize that Jesus Christ blessed the poor and the meek that, that don't have a roof over their head? Hey, asshole. I mean, you're saying you hate the poor, you hate the rich, but yet at the same time, out of your own mouth, you're saying you hate the poor. You hate the homeless, cause cause living in a shelter is beneath you. Wow, the great G man can't live in a homeless shelter. Yes, it is, Crimson but, Angel. But yeah, he hates the rich people that are providing for him. What a fucking. He oh. hates he hates those who are blessed more than him. So they we, can bless him. We joked around saying that the the poor are the problem that was a joke we didn't mean that if you if you thought we believed that you are the dumbest fucking individual on the planet it was a reference to g-man actually yeah it was <laughs> exactly correct <laughs> pathetic and you think i would call you a friend now Oh yeah, she won't. She won't let him come into the room and be with his friends. You guys aren't friends. When were you friends? <laughs> if I was ever your friend, I'm not now. No fucking way would I consider you a friend now. Yeah, that's awesome, Sabella. See, that's a Christian. Like in the latest A Perfect Circle album, there's a song on that album called Talk Talk. And I want you to look it up on YouTube and, wa and listen to the lyrics of the song. It's Maynard James Keenan saying to the Christians, why do you just talk like Jesus? You got to start walking like Jesus. Pick up a stone. Fucking pick up your hand. Do something. You're just sitting there praying. It's like cake in a crisis. You're useless. The Christian community is useless. Because they say all these great platitudes of healing the world and Christ is the way. And you just sit there with your thumb up your ass and do nothing. That's from a spiritual man, Maynard James Keenan, who I believe is Eastern philosophy. He's into like Buddhism and shit. Okay? And he's right. The Christians with money aren't standing up and doing stuff. Because if they were, the, the world would be healed of anything. That's all I got to say. God. And I'm called a fucking thief. A guy that makes $35,000 or less a year is called a thief. And supported a man. A grown man. He didn't even look for a I'm job. I'm a fucking thief? Fuck you. He didn't even look for a job. He kept telling me excuses why he couldn't find a job. <laughs> you know why he didn't get a job? Because we were providing. And he, he needs to suck up everything he can get. Every you know, last see, I don't I don't get Sam. I made Sam a mod on my channel. I'm trying to be nice to him, and he's just... I don't get him. I don't get him. Yeah, I know. He took my kindness for a weakness. 
But the thing is, this is how fucking stupid he is. If he didn't lie, if he was honest, if he was, you know, a decent person, he would have had a house. <laughs> he would he would have had a nice life in Scranton, Pennsylvania. But he decided to lie. He decided to be devious. He decided to be a bad person. And he calls all the people in that area rich. If Marty, if Mar my neighbor Marty heard that he was rich, he'd go, holy shit, where's all my money? <laughs> They're not rich in Green Ridge, you fucking retard. They're not rich. They're, they're upper and lower middle class in Green Ridge, Pennsylvania. Dunmore, Pennsylvania. Look up the incomes. You're a fucking idiot. Can't stand it. You know, we were trying to be nice to this dude. We were trying to do something good for this man. Help him out. We felt bad for him because he told the story that the atheist got, had him lose his job. But the thing is, he didn't have a job for months afterward that happened. After that happened and he lost his blue barrel stacking job. He didn't get a job for months after that. But yet he was still reminding people that he was poor because of that. But you could have gotten a job during that period of time. You didn't need to just sit there and, and, and just lament over your problem. It's like, get up, get a fucking job, and stop fucking whining like a bitch. Uh, Be a man. Get a fucking job. You don't need to sit there and lie there and cry to fucking people over the internet on why you're poor. You're poor because you're sitting there whining to people over the internet. So... And, and and then using poor Christians' good nature against them to give you shit when they their money would be better giving it to people who actually need it, not someone who just doesn't want to work. Okay. I don't have to work. There's a difference. Oh, but you don't work. I don't. I don't. I don't like my income is none of your fucking business, dude. But let me tell you what is my business. When I see you taking advantage of people, that is my business. When you take advantage of me and my husband and my children, that's when I have a problem. You would have been just fine if you just stayed in your fucking lane. You would have been just fine if you were just an honest individual. And not try to squeeze people out of everything they got just so you can feel like you're some kind of goddamn king. Yeah. Friends don't constantly expect something in return for their time. Exactly. Time is given freely. Friends don't expect you to constantly give to you either. Real friends don't expect anything from you except your time, your your words, your your companionship. That's what friends do. But see, you look at friendship of how much you can gain from the individual. You don't truly understand what true, real friendship and companionship is, because it's how much you can give. It's how much you can take from someone. Yeah. You take and 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 take until there's nothing left of your friendship. You did it to me. You did it to MP. You did it to Hannah. Yeah, wise guy. Hannah doesn't want anything to do with you because you sucked her dry financially. And she realized all you cared about is what you could get from her, not what you could do for her. Yeah, Hannah Stout. You never give your take on that. Not Hannah Stout. Not a different Hannah? Hannah, oh, Hannah Zubby, okay. She gave him money too? She gave him money too. You did it to MP, and MP apparently gave you a bunch of money around the same time I gave you money. But you were telling him that you were getting no money. See, what you don't get is 
we all talked together and we all figured it out. We're not fucking stupid and we can't be fucking scammed by you anymore. And we don't want other people to be scammed by you. We don't want people to be scammed by you. We don't want people hurt by you. The lyric I just heard is what I feel about you, G-Man. Good luck. You're on your own. You're fucking on your own. And you know what? More and more and more and more Christians are waking up to this fact. Even Veckel is waking up to who you truly are. Finally, Veckel, yeah. He's finally waking up to it. And when it's done, and when it's over, you're going to be just that little tiny leech that you truly are in the corner like Brett Kane is. Does he expect us to believe that all those contractors did work on retainer or like work on, on IOUs? Why would a contractor work on someone's house without the owner signing? A contract to what the house needs to be yeah. done. Why would any sane contractor do that? They wouldn't. That's illegal. Eventually, he'll bleed wiser dry too. Exactly. He's going to bleed David wiser dry too. And David wiser then is going to realize oh shit. Shani and Rev is right. And then you're going to see a video of Shani and Rev was right. That'll be the day, right? Oh, look at Positively Godless. And the city would need to approve the work and permits would be needed. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and that is... In fact, what he expected you to believe, and as Drag said, it was who, Pookie who the in is, them. Who the fuck is Pookie? G-Man's Pookie. Who? G-Man's Pookie. Oh. Yeah. But I, I, here, here's the thing. I'm warning people not to trust this man. He's scamming you from your money and I'm being told I'm a bad guy because I want to save you money. I want to save you from giving your money to a scam artist. I'm the bad guy for that, for wanting to help you. <laughs> he said, you took advantage of a poor black man, okay? What, what does his race have anything to do with it? I helped a poor man. <laughs> but see, you inserted the poor black man to try to start a race thing when race has nothing to do with it. When me and G-Man were cool, did you see us going back and forth, your white, your black thing? No. We had camaraderie. Don't start that stupid race fucking shit. No, it was the roof. And he says that there was a fine imposed of 900 and some dollars because... I never saw the receipt for that. No, neither did I. We have seen no receipts. Zero. None. No receipts. I'm waiting for the email in my Gmail account. Still no email. <laughs> Think I'll fuck himself. I'm done. Well, that's why I told you don't answer it, because he's going to start shit. Yeah. Put doubt in people's minds. Roof then permit needed. Exactly. And I think you got to find for something. I don't know. Well, apparently he's at work. He's at work, but he has enough time to call Rev at his work job over internet bullshit. I mean, hasn't he learned last time being at work and dealing with internet bullshit isn't, you know, a smart thing to do? You know, the internet can wait. 
your work comes first. Do your fucking job. Or he's going to start, what's he going to do, lose his job this time and then lose, lose his job and whine? The, the atheist made me lose my job. The barrel job. I wonder who's back at the barrel job. Especially after he told everyone the boss was running a mob front. Oh my god. Yeah, that was the barrel job, I think. Money's time. How goddamn stupid do you have to be? To fucking out your boss having a mob front. Uh -huh. You gotta be a goddamn stupid moron to be like, hey, my boss runs a mob front. You want the mob after your ass, you stupid ass? You get that on camera? The mob finds out? You're gone. Wow. You dumbass. He ain't nothing. He ain't no pussy. Pussy. And not being a coward and being smart. Smart would be not pissing off the mob. <laughs> That's wise words, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not... It doesn't make you a coward to know that you shouldn't run your lips at the mob. It doesn't make you a coward to be like, nope, I ain't saying shit. No, it makes you fucking smart. Because, see, most, most, most people realize that you're just one person and you have a whole mob that you're going against as one person. It's not a real smart thing to go against a mob when you're just one person. Yeah. You need to have a mob also with you in order to run your fucking mouth. And you better have a little fucking respect over my fucking people, G-Man. Uh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Try walking like Jesus. Don't, 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 don't piss off Italian people, okay? It's not wise to piss off an Italian. And I, I know, I know, you don't want to get into the race issue thing because you're a black man. I remember that. Oh, oh I'm sorry, a poor black man. But, but you can go tell me about your people. I'll tell you about my people, my Italian people, and how our <laughs> temper is when you piss us off and you run our, your mouth and you narc people out. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I've lived in the hood before. I believe there is street code of not being a fucking narc. You get your ass kicked in the street for being a narc. Yeah. But then again, you're a spoiled little, a spoiled little fucking brat yeah. where the homeless shelter is beneath you. Dan Dandy's right. Let's try and clean up our language. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was in the middle of something. Can I go and talk before you just point out something that really doesn't matter at the end of the day? It's just a word. Get over it, dude. Or get off my chat. You know... <laughs> Snitches get... Ditches. That's right. That's right. You don't fucking narc people out. There is like I don't I, I don't know what like in the mob there's a no narc there's a no narc code. On the streets there's a no narc car code. And if you're in if you're in drug culture, there's a no narc code. I've actually seen someone when I was in the homeless shelter almost get their ass kicked for narcan. Damn. So I know how serious so narkin can get, and I know people will kick your ass if you nark. Lucifer. See, I think a narc is probably one of the biggest fucking cowards out there because they don't know how to mind their own business. 
and they narc just so they can look good in the eyes of said person who needs said information. Yeah. Yeah. They're a coward. They don't. They don't. They don't want to be silent and be like, "Hey, it's none of my business." Uh, yeah. It's none of my business. I ain't going into that shit. I ain't narking no one. Fuck that. Condition not smart to blood. narc. Not smart to narc. That fucking Maynard. It'll the, get your ass kicked. That's Maynard on the cover of that album. Look at that. But see. <laughs> but see. Then again. Then again, we must realize G-Man doesn't really know very good social codes because he doesn't quite understand when. Also. Under, he doesn't also understand that another code of getting your ass kicked is talking about another man's woman. That can get your ass kicked. Too. Oh my god! Oh guys, if he was if he was in front of me half the times the shit that he said about her, he wouldn't just have a black man eye. He would have a black eye. Go argue with G Man Dan Dandy. I know you're one of his lackeys. Go somewhere else. There you go. Have fun talking to that man. I'm sure he'll respect your person. God. Like he respects everyone's person. Have a nice day, asshole. Anyway. Oh, that just happened. Wow. I'll kick your ass talking about my mom. Wise guy said that. Right? You just don't do that. You just don't do that. You don't go to a man and start talking shit about his woman. No. Or his mom. No. And I forgave him for that even, saying that he was going to go to my mother's grave and piss her shit on it or something. And he breaks the guy code. He breaks guy code. He breaks every code. I know. He breaks, he breaks the Christian code. Rev, you need to kick that ass. I want to. I want to just fucking punch him as hard as I can. It wouldn't feel good either. Look at that fucking shit. Mm. You got into the gun show, motherfucker. I'll fucking pop you, nigger. Sorry. Stop it. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm done. I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. I'm sorry, baby. Stop. I'm sorry. My apologies. Alcoholic pothead rapist Andy. What? <laughs> Wow. Honey, can, 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 can I end my show without you being disruptful? Sorry. I got carried away. I'm sorry. God. Another Sam sock? Are you serious? That's right. Wow. Sam has like 500 sock accounts. He right? hopes I die of diabetes. Oh, oh, I hope you die of a heart attack or diabetes. I will be so happy, disgusting fucking scum. So. We die when Jesus says come home, you cocksucker. <laughs> Jesus. Why don't you chug your own semen? Oh, my. Jason. He's mad. He's got a mad... I am not happy today. He's got a mad. Fucking cocksuckers. You hope I die of a heart attack and diabetes for <laughs> not wanting people to associate with G-Man. Wise guy likes this side of me. <laughs> you, you, you. 